So after months of everyone speculating that DDG and Hallie were expecting a baby, they did announce that they welcome their first son, Halo. Now, if you guys remember around Christmas time, DDG's family was leaving a lot of things in their videos, which made people assume that Halo was already born. Now, DDG has been doing a good job at keeping baby Halo's face blurred out, but it appears that his sister, TT was on Snapchat recording like they always do and she accidentally got a glimpse of baby Halo's face. As you can see, DDG is holding him here and he is so cute. I think he looks a lot like Hallie. Now DDG did quickly walk away, but I mean, everyone has their cameras out. But you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below. But let's move on to this next topic with Carmen and Corey. Now yesterday I reported that Corey went on to Instagram live. He was crying because his barber called him stating that he saw Carmen and Corey's kids and they didn't appear to be okay. Well, after Corey went on live, Carmen went completely off. She went on to Twitter and basically stated Corey put them out of the house and now he's trying to pull out this kid's card. She's stating that he's not really trying to be a father. He said that he would come back into the kid's life when God says it's right. She then later deleted all of these tweets and then stated that she was sorry. She's been doing so well at keeping quiet. But I do agree if you keep poking at someone, of course, they're going to react. And Carmen has been being poked at and poked at. And now she's just had enough when her kids are being brought to the internet. And she's been accused of not being a good mother, not being a good provider, just dropping her kids off with anyone. I mean, I agree with Carmen again, enough is enough. And sometimes you just have to get your side out, especially when everything else is so public. Well, Corey did go on to Instagram live of course he had some things to say now what I wanted to know and a lot of people in the comment section of my other video was how did Corey expect for things to go if he moved from Texas to Florida so it's kind of hard to co-parent when your state's away now I'm not sure if Corey is trying to parent through FaceTime but Carmen isn't up for that yeah. thank God man you know you wake up be able to see another day. There's a lot of people that wish they could be here. And there's a lot of people that's behind the bar in the cell that wish that they could have made the right decision before making that reaction quick before thinking. So, you know, man, y'all keep going. I'm good. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Got to to myself. Yeah, I, got to, I can't work out no damn more, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's just swole because at the end of the day, I'm not fighting no regular human right now. I'm fighting the devil. One thousand percent. This ain't no normal person I'm fighting right now. So don't think that this is like me fighting a person, I promise y'all. I'm literally fighting against the devil right now. One thousand percent. And this shit is crazy, boy. Like, I'll take this shit for a joke, bro. This shit, this is real life shit. This shit, not no joke. But like I say, <laughs> it gonna be a joke until it hit your front door. And you going through it. It gonna happen regardless. Believe it or not. You're gonna go through it. I'm glad that I'm going live right now. I'm glad that y'all are seeing me go through this shit. And y'all seeing how I'm handling this shit. Because you got to see people that really go through this shit. It's a lot of people that do not show this side of their life. What they're going through. They try to hide it. But see me, man, a lot of y'all probably haven't been watching me since 2013, but I've been showing my life since then. A lot of y'all are new to me. If you knew me back then, they'll tell y'all, like, nah, that, that nigga Corey, that nigga Corey, very transparent with the shit he go through. He gonna show you the good, the bad, the ugly. 
shit, you can keep it real with y'all. Shit, that nigga real, so. That's me, you feel me? It's just like I started it and it's like I can't take, I can't go back. I can't be like, oh. I, I was like this at first, but now like this, like, hell no, nah. like, I signed up for this. I can't, nah, unless I'm a weak ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? Unless I'm a hypocrite, unless I'm not who I really say I am. Like, I, I, got to, I got to stand on this shit, my nigga. I got to stand on it, so y'all got to see the good, the bad, and the ugly. Y'all see my life when I'm balling, I'm shining, I'm stunning. Y'all see me having fun, y'all got to see when I'm going through real life situations. Like, this is real shit. Like, this is not no joke. This is not me sitting here doing this shit for the internet. Like, nigga, I can't, like, do you think I really want to be away from my kids? Do you think I want to be going through this divorce? Do you think that I want to be experiencing this pain that I'm experiencing, my nigga? Do you think I want to see this shit that I'm seeing? Do you think I really want to go through this shit? But like, not like, one thousand percent. Y'all think I really want to go through this shit? They just keep it real, bro. Like, be one thousand percent. I do not want to be experiencing this shit, my nigga. But at the end of the day, if it was meant to be, if it was in God's plan, I gotta go through it. I can't run from it. The only way you can run from it is by quitting or committing suicide. Two ways. And you ain't going to heaven. <laughs> you commit them two. You know what I'm saying? You 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 not you not you not walking in God's footsteps if you quit or commit suicide. So at the end of the day, I know who I stand with. I'm aware of a lot of shit that y'all like listen to me to what I say. Like I really can tell y'all a lot of shit that's happening right now, but I can't speak on it on social media, like on this app. I really can like that's why they, I'm telling y'all, y'all want to hear me out. Y'all, y'all think I'm crazy. Y'all think Corey just capping. Y'all think I'm just, y'all think I just fell off. Like, y'all think that I, y'all really think that over the years, as long as I've been balling and living my best life, I always had my third eye open. But with time, you become more wiser. And when you seek knowledge from God, he's going to give it to you. When you seek answers, when you... When you have a mission, he's going to put you on that path 1,000%. And I've been on this path, and I am aware about a lot of shit that y'all would have no... Matter of fact, I just met... When I was on live early tonight, when I was at the restaurant, that rich-ass man that worked for Wells Fargo, that that man was... He, he was so shocked when he talked to me. He was like, he would have never in his life thought that... I was aware than I am. He said, man, I thought you were just a gangster. I thought you were this. And I just smiled. I said, no, I'm not. I said, don't let the image fool you.